From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith with more than 100 persons in hospital and others waiting for bed space heading into the final weekend of the month. Health officials will be watching the corona numbers closely, hoping for a decline. More than 10 of those hospitalized are sick enough to be in the ICU. And those hospital numbers a big concern. Our public health care system is being stretched to its limits. Our doctors, nurses, and other medical staff are doing all they can. Prime Minister Minister, during his Wednesday national address to the nation, the government is trying to find additional bed space for infected persons. An advanced team from Samaritan's Purse carried out a site inspection at the Princess Margaret Hospital with our health care officials. Their objectives were to assess the current operations in the original Samaritan Purse's medical tents and to determine how to expand this to allow for an additional 18 beds. Health officials hoping persons pay attention to Wednesday's message from the Prime Minister, follow the protocols, get vaccinated when it becomes available. Additional vaccine expected to arrive in the country next week sometime. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Police Commissioner Roll is advising the public to follow the emergency orders even if they don't agree with them because they'll be watching. I encourage persons to abide by the provisions of the, the emergency power orders. We'll be continuing our efforts and stepping it up as usual on these holidays. Police in the capital trying to determine how a one-year-old child ended up at the bottom of a swimming pool at a home. The child believed to have drowned. Investigations continue. A couple of big sports stories. Kai Jones picked by the Knicks in the first round of last night's NBA draft and traded to Charlotte. Donald Thomas and Jamal Wilson eliminated in the first round of competition in the high jump. As track and field gets underway at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Devon Charlton and Pedro Simo in action today in the heats of the 100-meter hurdles. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight IQ weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. No systems, partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable. The sea's three feet or less. Next night is a low around 7.30 this evening. Saturday's forecast, partly cloudy. Highs in the upper 80s, showers are possible. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines as the Olympic Games continue in Tokyo. The coronavirus continues to surge there and elsewhere. Japan are reporting more than 10,000 cases for a day for the first time since last year. In Thailand, health officials there are overwhelmed by increasing cases. In the U.S., increasing cases also with President Biden now ordering new vaccination rules for federal workers. The debate continues in our country over mask mandates. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's some soccer, some coverage of the Olympic Games, depending on what you have. Major League Baseball is on TV tonight. Jazz on the Marlins at home for the opening of a series with the Yankees. Tribune Sports will have total Olympic coverage when it returns to the streets on Tuesday morning. For all your sports details, you'll want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper back on the streets Tuesday morning. Stay up to date online over the weekend at Tribune242.com.